Hey YouTube, uh, this is David again. This is take two on the unboxing uh, from uh, Dark Ages. The Dark Ages are over. Powered Play Gaming. Uh, a gentleman named Chris Michaels. I met at KublaCon. He was playing in the uh, Warhammer 40K tournament, and he's one of the founders of this company. And uh, they do lighting for models and terrain. It can do anything from 40K to trains to anything. And I want to show you what this is fixing or helping in my life. When I want to do any um, lighting like I do in my train, I want to start doing it in some of my uh, models, is I have this uh, tackle box here filled with, excuse the uh, video work here, I have the wire stung on my leg, um, filled with LEDs and resistors, more LEDs, uh, wire connectors, wire nuts, switches, that's just in the top part there. Close that up. Got more wire, tape, uh, solder, soldering sucker, LED tester. They get into even more stuff. We got uh, we always need for LEDs and when you're doing circuits and stuff is a breadboard tester. So you're running uh, clips and you got a wire stripper. You got a soldering iron in here somewhere. More uh, packages of uh, these are oh, um, LED holders and more L packages of LEDs. Tons of LEDs. Well, these are LED holders. And there is my soldering gun in here somewhere. Yeah, I got my soldering gun right here. So, putting all that together, I love doing it, but is it a pain? It takes time and takes patience, and you gotta make sure you're putting the right resistors in and all that, make it wiring, soldering, which you're gonna be burning stuff, and uh, it's just a pain sometimes. There is new thing coming out, is awesome. It's basically, let me show you here real quick, I'm going to take this apart first, shoot. It's basically this little circuit board, and then you have these really cool, I mean like cool, but um, LEDs already pre-wired for you with the resistor, you got two LEDs per strand, you got a 9 volt battery clip hooked up to this ready to go, and that is it. And you can, um, I mean, the worst you'd have to do if you have to link it in some wires is cut the wire, do a pigtail splice, which look that up on the internet, it's easy to do, and then throw some tape on it, you're ready to go. Or if you're uh, into electronics, you have a heat uh, shrink gun, that's what this stuff is right here. Put a little heat shrink on it, hit it with your hair dryer or your heat gun, and you're ready to go. And I don't, you don't have to test anything, it's all ready to go. And they have a Kickstarter, it's three days left, uh, they've hit a bunch of goals. They have this awesome thing coming out. Everything's 9 volt powered right now. And the battery that uh, they just, on their um, uh, thing they just beat, their little level they're trying to achieve on Kickstarter, the 9 volt battery is going to be rechargeable and it's like less than two thirds the size of a double A. So it'll be very easy to hide in terrain. And especially uh, us that want to do tanks and uh, flyers and things like that. Very easy, very lightweight. And um, it's very simple. This thing right here, all this is, yeah, one big air, uh, big um, adapter for your battery. Then you got four outlets for different, so you can run eight lights off. Is technically the way it's set up. So you got five, uh, four harnesses. This has actually got five harnesses. So you change it up a little bit. And they, in this kit, they gave me, um, I got some three millimeter and five millimeter lights. So you can change them up, like the 5mm lights would be great in the tank lights and stuff like that. Uh, the 3mm, maybe some of the larger creatures and stuff, and the flyers, um, and maybe even like you want to light up a cockpit underneath. And there's so many cool things you can do, even terrain. I want to do a uh, manufactorum and maybe get these 3mm in the light uh, socket of the eye on the um, uh, mechanic, Adeptus Mechanica symbol. And maybe figure a way of cutting those door panels out where they have the control keypads cast those in a clear resin and then run the light behind that and maybe throw some wash on it give it like a green hue or whatever and these lights are colorful colorful too so um let me just plug this in real quick let me back this up see what i'm doing you got that light on hit the switch and there you go you have light and these 9 volt batteries last forever with these things these don't drive uh take much voltage at all very bright. Let's see if we can move the camera. <laughs> yeah, those are like a green color, and these are like an amber. And 
really go check these guys out. Um, it'd be really good to help these guys. Or uh, actually, like I said, he's a war gamer. He's playing like a really cool looking stealth uh, Tau army. I don't know how well he did. I just talked to him a couple times, and he was busy playing. It was like a, a, a made it to his third round, I believe. And I was in my uh, painting tournament, obviously. So I was going back and forth, and then um, talked to him briefly. Really nice guy. And uh, one, I was already, uh, I was on the original Kickstarter. It fell through. Kind of was bummed about that. They came back, got right back into it, and uh, got some uh, test equipment from them. And obviously, I'm keeping my Kickstarter going. I want all as much of this stuff as possible and hopefully they get some of the stretch goals uh that's not the word i was looking for last time so uh when you have a chance check them out i'll have the um or obviously you'll see on the bottom of the screen here i got www.poweredplay.net that'll get you to their kickstarter give you all the information of the company and even after the kickstarter you can check out their stuff um there's tons of other youtubers that uh already got their hands on this stuff from adepticon and check out their stuff, especially uh, Brush for Hire. He's done some amazing things um, that, you know, anything you want to do with 40K, he's already done it, and uh, probably very easy tutorials to uh, follow. So once again, thank you for joining me, and we will see you in the next video. Thanks again.